Hey guys, I'm back in Dirt Rally 1. I am back at Pikes Peak. This time I'm doing the full uh, paved course and I'm doing it in the Peugeot Pikes Peak Special. And uh, so we're going to try this with the Oculus Mirror this time. So hopefully the, the view will be a little better for the recording and then I'll see if I can make the replays work as well. All right, let's get in here. Pavement's way different traction, and the crowd density is much, much higher than the gravel version, so taking it a little more easy. Had to restart a number of times. Four corner exits, lying into people. A couple of bad choices when it comes to speed around corners, so. Gotta be a little more calculated with my choices here instead of just sending it at all at all times. I'm having a hard time remembering what the stage looks like because it's so different. I haven't played the paved for oh I haven't played the paved version in quite some time. Definitely can't throw uh, the ass end out like you could in the gravel version. Whoa. Too much uh, oversteer there. I've been over driving those corners, so thought I'd take a little easier that time. I don't believe this car has a handbrake, so I can't rely on the handbrake to get me out of tough situations. So just gotta get good. Probably could have taken that with a little more speed. Some places you can be a lot faster, and other places you have to be a lot slower on pavement. Some of these corners, you used to be able to just shift your weight to the back end, which would carry you through the corner. Now, you lose grip, and that's the opposite of what happens. All right, these hairpins are weak, but we'll keep going for now. Yeah, like right there, just break, break traction. Please don't hit the people. You, hit, you break traction and then you lose control of the car versus on gravel where you actually control your, your turns with your back end. Oh, that was a little bad. speed than that. Oh well. I keep restarting because I take too many liberties with the speed, so I might as well take it a little more easy so I can make it to the top. There's the start of the 
cliffs. Probably get called out by one of these uh, corners coming up just because they make you think you can go a little faster than you really should, or at least faster than I should. even have a helicopter in this version, that's cool. Oh. Alright, here we go, this is my... Ay, ay, ay. I was just gonna say, this is my least favorite part, because I'm bad at it. And then I wanted to really prove that to you. So there you go. <laughs> this part's so hard because you can't really tell where the road's going in first person view over these blind corners. Ah, I can't shift. Only the guardrails help these hairpins and then there is a hairpin up here towards the top uh, yeah I couldn't even see there that was completely blind there was a hairpin towards the top that has no guardrail at least not in the uh, 80s retro version or the all gravel version oh we're going off the edge aren't we oh man that was close drive and lose my shot at finishing. Fortune favors the bold, right? Not me. <laughs> I feel like I can take these corners slightly faster on pavement though. Ooh. Momentarily blind. I'd love to get to the point where I know this track front and back so I can just take all these corners at high speed, but I have not put in the time for that. Oh yeah, we have no power. The turbo has lost its power. We are so high up. I don't know where this is going. Oh, this is the hairpin. No! <laughs> All right, I cheated. I used the handbrake. Like these, I have no idea how sharp the corner is going to be. Here we go, getting towards the top here. Oh, come on. There we go. Woo. Nice. Oh, 8.15. Nice. Okay. I mean, I mean, I'm sure that's two minutes or so <laughs> worse. All right. Well, uh. There you go. There's Pikes Peak in Dirt Rally 1 using the Peugeot uh, Pikes Peak Hill Climb Special. I uh, hope you enjoyed it.